Hi Vogue, it's Carrie Mulligan. I'm gonna walk you through my skincare and my parent-teacher conference makeup look. Hyaluronic Micellar H2O, a very pleasing kind of pump. I love doing skincare and I spend, you know, as much time as I can before I'm interrupted by a child or my husband to go somewhere doing skincare stuff because I love it and it feels like sort of such luxury to just spend time not talking to anyone. <laughs> this lovely stuff. This is the Advanced Skin Repair Serum, which you're meant to just use a bit of, but I gloop it all over the place because it feels so nice. And then I always use a little bit of this, which is a gorgeous moisturizer from Lancome, which smells amazing as well. It's super lightweight, but it's so hydrating. I can put it everywhere and crucially all the way down my neck. And then I put on this La Mer eye cream, which I love and I've used forever and just smush it all around here. I get out the big guns. I, a couple of years ago, got the Lima laser, which is basically my Oscars present to myself. <laughs> and it's massive. It is three lasers in one, and it's the most amazing thing. I used it the entire way on the plane. You just hold it on one area for three minutes and you can sit for hours with it. It doesn't damage the cells, it just renews them. I've got a scar here, just above my brow, when I walked into a door in the middle of the night to go and feed my baby. And this scar is going away. This is a kind of a fun one. Do that for a while. This is gonna be going everywhere with me, all over me. Okay. This is from IS Clinical, and this is obviously a daily essential sunscreen, even when it's cloudy. And then all the way down my neck and then down here. So my skin is ready and uh, I'm gonna get into my parent-teacher conference mode. So this is a foundation, Shantakai foundation. I just do everything with my fingers. I've quite enjoyed that a lot of my jobs haven't involved makeup because I think, first of all, it saves you time in the chair in the morning, <laughs> but it's also, there's an onus on beauty, I think, in our industry that can be quite overwhelming. And I think I've enjoyed that a lot of my roles have not really, been about that stuff but when there has been more makeup involved recently it's actually been really fun so on maestro we had lots of different ages and stages to go through so felicia started as a young girl 25 and went all the way through to 56 and just the, the makeup process of that was fascinating and then on saltburn i played uh, a really fun character called poor dear pamela and poor dear pamela's makeup was just so fabulous and it was but it, almost an entire mask of makeup and that was really fun. It was very collaborative and I loved working with that team. This is a Sisley concealer. I've always been very willing to sort of let people do whatever they want to do sort of creatively. So I've had peroxide blonde hair for a part that I filmed for just a day that was cut from the film. I've cut it all off. I've, in fact, in one of the makeup tests for The Great Gatsby, they did my eyebrows, they plucked them pencil thin. So they were, you know, really typical 1930s. I looked awful. At the Met Ball a couple of years ago, I had a huge kind of horrible thing here and I did the exact wrong thing and I messed with it. And then I went to go and see Joanna Check, who is an amazing facialist in New York. She tried w with all her might to do something about it and it just wasn't shifting. So I called up the wonderful girl who was doing my hair that day. And I was like, I can't, you, we have to find a way to cover my forehead because this is like a problem. So within literally two hours, she had gone to a place, bought a fake fringe that exactly matched my hair color, met me at my house and put a fake fringe on me. And when I got to the Met Ball and I got up to the top of the stairs and Anna didn't know who I was because my fringe was so transformative. And I said, Anna, it's Carrie. And she was like, oh. So if it were up to me, I'd have like massive caterpillars on my face because I just love big brows. Whenever I do that, it always feels like 
I'm trying to sort of paint on lines. I feel like when you kind of rub it across your brows, it, the colour kind of sticks to it and it fills it in in a way that to me looks a bit more realistic or a bit more natural. And I like them all brushed up and buffy like that. Yeah, there you go. I always like to have them sort of slightly pasted down. And now my brows look nice. This is a little bit of eyeshadow that's just nice. I think it being presentable for parent-teacher conference could impact the academic future of my children. <laughs> so I do, I think it's something to take seriously. This is an addiction Tokyo mascara. I like to have a bit of eyeliner, but I just like to have a little flexy on the corner just to open up my eyes a little bit. Kind of in between a bit of where the mascara is and the top lash line. I think black on me can look a little bit harsh. So I like brown because it's a bit more, kind of blends in a little bit more. Blush. I've used the same blusher I think like a decade, I don't even know when this came out, but this is, it's a Valentino. I love this because it's from Fresh and I've used it on a bunch of different jobs where I'm not meant to be wearing lipstick really. It's a tinted lip balm. And then on Maestro, my makeup artist Sean introduced me to this, which we used for the bits where I'm meant to be 25. We used all sorts of things to try and look 25. It was a blast. It just makes you look kind of glowy. And I'm sure you can overdo it, but I don't think you can overdo it. So I spray this. Then once I'm out and about, and if I get to a point where I feel like I've been away from my house for a few hours and my makeup's gone a bit dry, I always use this quarterly spray. I don't do much with my hair because it, I've got a very good haircut at the moment, if I do say so myself. I really like this, which is Olaplex oil, because it's somehow, even if I've got little bits of fly away or whatever, I just smush this. A little bit more of this, because it's fun to have pink lips. The teachers. And that's pretty much it. This was so much fun. I'm gonna go and see how well or not well my children are doing at school, feeling kind of great. <laughs>